Hello everyone and happy Monday on Adobe Live. I'm here with Juan Pan and I'm super excited because we will have a nice session about Photoshop and illustration today. How are you? Good, good. How are you? I'm good as well. Um, I just uh, do some housekeeping before we get started. I'm super oh, excited. That's really nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you're watching on YouTube, that's completely fine. But if you want to be part of our lovely community, come on over and jump on Behance because here's the community, the chat, and you can shoot all your questions um, regarding workflow, tools, and the wonderful illustrations of Poan. Um, and let me quickly say hi to Sandrine, Angus, um, Oliver is here. Friedrich, um, of course, Tim. Yeah, full house, I would say. <laughs> so, uh, Poan, yes. would you like to introduce yourself? Yes, so I'm a freelance illustrator, London based. And so, this is my like illustration. I'm saying hello to everyone. It's like I'm from <laughs> Taiwan, and I always kind of center around the illustration using soft color palette. And like, I really kind of keep the kind of handcraft and human texture and like the human warmth to in my illustration to celebrate it. So, so now I'll start talking about like where I kind of go into the illustration and why I decided to do it as a practice, as a career. And this is kind of, I graduated from Census Martin in 2021 with a degree in graphic communication design. And during the process, I was kind of all around the place. I'm doing photography and like kind of illustration, and animation. And this is my final project. So I'm sure like the illustration a bit, animation a bit. So so this is like an animation about during COVID time. It's like I'm at home alone. So it's really like struggle and loneliness. Like it's really a bit like centered around the concept of existential crisis. So it's mm -hmm. kind of finding who I am as a person, as a human being on earth and what I want to do further after I graduate. I think it's also really important at that time. And during that time I was created like because animation is frame by frame, this one. So I, I, I draw it. a lot. So I draw like crazy, go crazy on it. I draw at least like 2000 or something. So at that time I was like, oh, really pressure a lot. And also I really enjoy the drawing. I realized I didn't get tired of it. So that's a point when the, the boxer ticks like, oh, this might be my career in the future. I'm like, I can do, and I really enjoy it. Amazing. And also at that time I was collaborating with my friends as co his co-hector. He's a like music composer. So before when when I was kind of pre produced this animation, it's mute. So it's like silence kind of animation, black and white. And I showcased with my friends and like my family as well. It was like then it would be nice if there's a sound, like a soundtrack behind it and keep the richness and like Kind of fulfill it in a general so like my friend just like decided to help me with it and like i really enjoy when the music and the soundtrack was bring back the liveness of it wow so it's kind of at the end he kind of find the passion of his life it's kind of me like <laughs> i really love drawing at the end Yeah, and also, it's, cool. thank you. So it's also like kind of I pick up the handcraft texture during the this session, like create the animation, everything. Yeah. So this is the animation, and and you can see from like the faces, it's kind of I pick up in the following. My illustration has a really strong kind of facial structure. And after the animation, I just kind of into really into illustration. I, I draw a lot, a lot, and I prepare for kind of how to be a freelance illustrator and everything. So we can see from the, and I pick up the topic is, it's a really interesting word to me. It's like the awkwardness because I'm not really an, 
outgoing person. So like when I was encountered with stranger and everything, or like or kind of like this, I would be a bit awkward in some way. But I really <laughs> like it's be like quirky, but like I really enjoy it in some. It's like a bit embarrassing in some way, but like also kind of the positive way to kind of engage with the how I deal with it. And so this is like the words I really like and kind of center around in 2022 when I start to do, do freelance illustration. I kind of package and like promote myself as a awkward illustrator. <laughs> so, so this is also kind of where I kind of, how do you say like, where I get into further into how I get the freelance commission. And this is, like by far my kind of my favorite commission in last year is I, I commissioned by the spectacle brands called Qubits. It's a London brand and they do handcraft spectacles. So like kind of in that topic is like the topic is called glorious awkward. So it's kind of match with how I kind of sell myself as an illustrator. So also it's kind of like the concept of this illustration is how you thought what your thought will kind of reflect on your appearance so it's kind of to me like the thought is constantly changing and constantly thriving mm -hmm. so it's kind of the movement of it that like it's fragmented kind of moving around so it's i used it as a symbol to celebrate the awkwardness like the glorious awkwardness and i'll also do some illustration for new york times that's incredible <laughs> <laughs> wow and also you can see like the face like it's really kind of stand out from the others like how i illustrate the face the structure and appearance and also i did like a visual identity for a taiwanese international human rights festival back in 2022 and this is when i see it like my friends take a picture for me in real time i was like wow this is it feels like so a, cool right yeah you feel like a <laughs> proud like father it's like your son is kind of out there <laughs> kind of dancing around in the film i was like wow that's really nice and after that like because you can see from my facial kind of structure thing it's really kind of in some way people will interpret and engage with the audience will think it's more depressed in some way so it's not that positive so this year I was really kind of trying to be more positive and like really engage with how I kind of develop further my illustration more than just mm -hmm. focus on the facial expression and everything. And this is, I did it for like a Denmark newspaper and it's in March or something. And we were kind of play with the handcraft, it still kept the handcraft texture, but it's like the narrative from, because the topic, I'm not sure everyone can read it. Myself, I cannot read like Danish. so. This is about like, uh, the concept is about a uh, kind of suicide, like mm -hmm. commit suicide. So I don't want to just really straightforward and do the things, but like, I want to create more positive and like, because the book is a book about kind of the author have a really exp like tough going life experience. Mm -hmm. So I kind of, but at the end he find a way to kind of deal with like the mental issue and depression and everything. And kind of the narrative is at first it's like you can see from the character is kind of he lay down and like point up it's like the bright side is it's always on the bright side there's always like the positive in the next following days and also yeah. it's kind of the movement of it and this is kind of my illustration portfolio for now and this is like everything i doing for kind of but like lots of the time I do kind of self-initiate project to kind of expand the field a bit further and see how it goes in the future. Do you think that's important for someone who wants to start out as an illustrator to do a yeah. lot of self-initiated projects? I would I would say it's it's kind of crucial. It's had really kind of like fundamental if mm -hmm. you really kind of start it because when I started like I have no idea what is to do as a freelance illustrator and how it works and mm -hmm. so like i did lots of kind of mocked up like you pick up if you want to do editorial you can go to like new york times guardians or somewhere and find a topic and if you really enjoy reading the topic or the article it's like you can create kind of the mock-up like we always joke around with my like friends we're like 
you will fake it until you make it because like the art director needs to see you <laughs> have like the ability to kind of comprehend and like create an illustration based on like kind of real time article. Mm -hmm. So I think it's really important as well. And even like I feel like lots of people with lots of experience, like ten years or something, they still do like kind of yeah. passion, like mock up and like. So I feel like it's it's important if you want to start it as illustrator, and also like uh, this is my Instagram by the way. Uh, I I found one really important during my last year is like when I started out, it's like I have no idea what is it to be a freelance illustrator. So when I first got this like project, it's like I'm super excited. I was like, wow, this is real, and like. I can actually call myself illustrator and like I, I kind of really nervous. I want to be really good at it, so I spend way longer time than I do it right now, and I like kind of a bit go crazy, go too crazy, and kind of this is my first commission, but also it's never published. It's like the the end. They decided not to use it, so it's come a lesson I learned is. How I can process during the nervous like deadline and everything, so mm -hmm. I think it's also kind of important to showcase because besides like the positive side of everything, it's like like all the commission I got, uh, yeah, to showcase the behind scene as well. Yeah, it's a nice nice approach, and also I I think it's you always have to be aware of both sides, right? Yeah, so and also like. I think it's when I was doing the first year is lots of lots of like ups and down. Like some of the months you got like several commission is super excited and thriving, and the, some of the months is just pure silence. You feel mm -hmm. like you just disappear <laughs> <or> something. <laughs> and like, for, yeah, it's just it's just super weird. You need to take on like it's more than just kind of a draw and enjoy drawing. Like I still yeah. enjoy drawing all the time, and but. You just kind of need to deal with like the up and down. Yeah, but um, ah, here's just oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's good. Yeah, so I found it also important is like I draw not just when I was doing commission, like I draw all the time. So mm -hmm. I kind of keep my sketchbook all over the place. Like I have several sketchbook. Some of it's for just commission when I was brainstorming everything and some of it just, I draw freely, I go mad in it. Like I draw whatever I want to draw. So it's kind of, I just want to showcase like how I kind of create the illustration. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, we just go back to the PDF like, and so <laughs> I was go a bit crazy on chairs and like design chairs. I really like the, kind of like elegance and like the well thought behind it, like the simple object. Because during COVID, we're like at home by myself all the time. So it's like the chairs become like the most kind of- Your best friend. Best friend, <laughs> I would say. It would be the worst, like yeah. almost family members, like I would yeah. say that way. And like, so it's a bit like I obsessed with chair and like the design of it. And also I got like several sessions. It's like a handstand session. I kind of go, I was learned how to handstand because in my memory, it's like when I was in my childhood, like I was, I think I know how to handstand because like I don't have the fears of kind of fall and bumping to the, like the ground. So I feel like childhood is still handstandable, but now it's like when I was go back to the class, I was like, oh, that's really tough. And you, when you try to kind of handstand by yourself, it's even, to me, it's even impossible. So I need like kind of the tutor, <laughs> like mentor to guide around and everything. So that's how I have a different kind of view, perspective, because when you kind of upside down, everything is different. Even though you're so familiar with your body and everything, it's like you see the world upside down. It's like you twist your perspective to kind of engage with the world and engage with the surrounding. So this, how I started the series, kind of play with it and how can engage with the object and add the like lighthearted and more human side of it. Like, I don't mm -hmm. believe people will kind of just go on a chair and do a handstand. So it's kind of, <laughs> I don't think so. So especially like those chairs really like antique and really kind of you will see in the museum or people will really cherish it and appreciate it. So it's even more scary when you handstand on those chairs. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so for today's session, I was kind of centered around the topic, and I want to celebrate kind of the 90th birthday for the Studio Sixty by the Finnish kind of designer architecture furniture designer as well. Ava Auto. I I hope I'm not pronouncing it like really wrong or anything. So in case anyone don't know what is like Studio Sixty, it's probably everywhere. Like it's quite iconic, and you can kind of because it's more than just a store furniture piece. It's a kind of like a it's more like artwork to me. So I really like it, and so I want to kind of create an illustration and celebrate its birthday. Perfect. And, oh, by the way, just uh, just a quick showcase about my kind of my illustration, like the sketchbook, what I mentioned earlier is kind mm -hmm. of. So this is my current like commission sketchbook. I just play with it often. I just kind of sketch around, so it's not like those beautiful, well organized <laughs> sketchbook. It's going yeah, a bit it's, crazy. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's quite like to me. It's quite important. It's like I'm not a because I never learned how to draw honestly. So it's kind of I learned through the process and how I draw, and it's I I grow a lot during the journey and everything. So, and do you um, yeah. scan your sketches and bring them into Photoshop then, or how oh, do yeah. you usually do it? Uh, or maybe often... you can sh show us this um, when you start. Oh, yeah. project thank you uh often i would just scan it because scan you got mm -hmm. a, like a higher quality and so you can kind of have a better view of it so this is so often i will start with your oh. layers are very organized i love i it. try <laughs> i try to i think it's happened because i start from doing the frame by frame animation so mm -hmm. if i'm not organized it's almost impossible to, impossible to find where That's the thing is. <laughs> so it's a bit like, it's a bit headache, but it kind of, I really enjoy it, kind of organize it. But even though my, you can see my sketchbook is go crazy and a bit madness in it. So like, when I, as we mentioned earlier, I scan kind of my sketches on paper. I also found nice. it's really important for me to kind of start from the paper because I, at the start, I try to sketch on just iPad and everything. It's to me, it doesn't work. It's like when I see on the blank iPad canvas, I was like, my brain is blank as well. So, <laughs> so I found it my way back to more analog and kind of sketch on paper, get my hands dirty a bit. So I found this process really important. Mm -hmm. And I kind of start from the sketching around the stools and, and I start with kind of in the more digital way to engage with it and then i often i draw a lot i draw like several version i just pick like several i prefer like to demonstrate so like if you see this illustration i probably draw it like at least 10 times of it <laughs> <laughs> and and also kind of just start from it, the stools and i just draw on the paper and put the character on it and also you can see it's I, my thought is go all around the place and kind of just kind of develop, keep working on it. And then because like now it's more like editorial, so it's really fast paced. Mm -hmm. So I need to keep on the pace. So like often I do the polish and sketching in the digital way and like in Photoshop. So kind of this is like the sketches I kind of put all the previous like physical paper one two together so often like the process is like a, a bit like a puzzle so it's guy I got some elements <laughs> here I got some elements there and I just put together so it looked a bit quirky and like it doesn't make sense to like the, uh, the audience probably but like it's kind of a really important stage for me to kind of put all the elements together and then I would take some time and just kind of polish it like this you can see like this it's more kind of defined and i'll start from this mm -hmm. so and also like so this would be like the kind of where i start from 
the sketches and everything. I just lock the other thing in case I bump <laughs> yeah. into it. And so I was starving. So often I would just kind of go. It's nothing like too technical, so it's really simple. I just do the color pattern and everything. So I just go straight forward and <laughs> yeah, the yeah. sketch. <laughs> So it's not too difficult like it's like i feel like the process for my illustration the most kind of important part is the kind of before beforehand and prepare everything like the sketches and the concept because i've to me it's like kind of visualize the concept is it's really like exciting to me because often the concept like the previous mention it's like depression or like a bit quite not that bright side so I really like to twist it a bit and add kind of how people can have a different perspective on it. To me, mm -hmm. it's quite important. That's lovely. So this is, it's quite kind of just. How do you, um, yes. how do you choose colors? I know it's a very oh, hard yeah. question for That's, illustrators. I forgot but... you mentioned it. Like, <laughs> I feel like there's always like an endless discussion of how I how we use color because it's always hard to select it. Like I can quickly showcase like this for this illustration because I'm a bit nervous at first, so I was go crazy on the color side. So you can see from the okay. color I <laughs> I went a bit nuts on how I can play with the color. I do have mm -hmm. like a usual kind of color palette in whether it's Photoshop or in design. Even in like, and also Illustrator, I kind of have my kind of really fundamental kind of set of color I prefer to use. So it's really, you can, when, like often people see my illustration, they were like, oh, I can notice it besides just the texture and everything, also the character, but they also mentioned the colors kind of where they pick up yeah. is kind of how I use it. And uh, I've, it's not like any sponsor or anything, but like, oh, my friends kind of know like this is like I think recently lots of people use this book as a reference. It's like you can have like a really quick kind of color reference oh, nice. from it. So mm -hmm. it's really nice and it's really kind of how I pick up from it. I they didn't just go straight forward and just do the color. It's like it's a really nice starting point because I feel like color I, I stuck with color every time. So it's like <laughs> So it's like a really nice to kind of boost it and like kind of starting point and kind of get the inspiration from. Mm -hmm. And often it's like for me, like in my in my phone, it's like there's a album like for this random kind of snap around the city and like some really vintage design I really like. So like it's also kind of reference where I pick from my daily life. So I think it's where I get my color from. And also, like, recently I developed a really interesting kind of, how do you say, like, method or kind of how I illustrate it. I, because I, like, there's like a kind of curtain or like a handcraft in UK, it's kind of like a designer called William Morris. So we do like the, all the kind of pattern for like the curtain and everything. So I learned mm -hmm. from like the stamp, like, I think they still use it like this they create like a pattern and they keep using it as a stamp to kind of develop it further and like has become like huge like whole image of it so this is where I learned from this so like for the kind of like the quotes or everything I would just kind of use it Bring as a stamp extra in there that's nice yeah. so like this is like the stamp so like I kind of just copy it and put it into it as a way to kind of demonstrate it so this is like the way and yeah so this is how i kind of interpretate my handcraft texture back to i mostly i just kind of play with which one i prefer to kind of i found it really helpful because Often you add the texture, but like you don't really like the color in some way and just play with it and see how it goes. So I don't have like a specific kind of 
Atom kind of production to do with it. I just can't really go with the feeling of it and play with the texture. That's super cool. Thank you. Have you ever tried using Adobe Fresco? Uh, that's a really important one. I need to le learn how to use it. I think it, someone told me it's really like straightforward, like you can pick up quite fast. I'm not sure am I right. Because, I mean, I don't want to um, disturb or yeah. um, crash your <laughs> relationship <laughs> to Photoshop, but it's almost the same. Like when you can draw on, oh, yeah. on iPad and also play around with textures the... and clipping masks and maybe oh, clipping masks. you That's should give it a try. I should definitely <laughs> give it a try. The yeah. chat loves your work, by the way. Oh, thank you. And is very impressed. Amazing. <laughs> thank you so much. I'm like, I hope I'm not saying any words like doesn't make sense or that. Because sometimes I get nervous. I just get like wobbling around and like. <laughs> so, so this is, you can see it's more like, like, I hope it's kind of easy to see on screen. It's like the pattern. I just really enjoy doing like the texture and especially like the overlay part. I pick up the overlay part when I was doing what is it called the riso or riso print. It's like mm -hmm. a really kind of Japanese kind Japanese machine and do like lots of kind of printing. And one of in the function is important is like the overlay because it's not precise every time you print it. So sometimes often the color will kind of overlay and the I really pick up like the unexpected and like the experimental part in it. So it's kind of, I just really play with the color. So I will just do that. So I just, often I just kind of merge everything. And just kind of do the clip mask. I really mm -hmm. love clip mask. It's helped a lot. Yeah. It's like you don't need they to erase everything. <laughs> <laughs> and so, and this is a part. And like, I just. It yeah, looks super cool. Thank you. Was, and I often would just kind of embrace it and just bring the part I don't need. So it would be like kind of select. Yeah, it's just one thing I want to mention because okay. Fresco is also available on Windows desktop. I just want to, because oh, I said amazing. it's available on iPad, but it's also available on Windows desktop. So, oh, oh yeah. So, like, I'll definitely download it. And it's free. After this so, yeah. that's even nicer. <laughs> And also, and iPhone, yeah, it's also available on the iPhone. And um, also, Sandrine uh, shared a very nice link for you about oh, William Morris. Yeah, I love William Morris. Yeah, I will copy it for you and send it to you after the stream so you can have a look. Yeah, it looks amazing with the Thank you. stamp. Yeah, so often I textures. just yeah, often I just really play with it. I don't, I do have like kind of like you can see like the how I kind of created in a way, but often I really enjoy like the kind of the overlay, like the experiment part of it, because to me like it's how. As an illustrator, we're different from like AI generate. Like, I mean, they can pick up the texture easily, but that's how I really like being an illustrator. Do you think, uh, or do you find it sometimes very hard, uh, time wise, to focus on all the details you want to implement when you work on an editorial piece? Oh, yeah. Like, that's also the reason why I developed this kind of stamp generate mm -hmm. kind of illustrate system. 
because before I would like to kind of create a color palette for like color shape first, like this one first,、mm -hmm. and then do an overlay of a different color, so it create a darkness of it. But I also kind of I didn't do like drawing coloring like kind of fulfill the pattern. I do instead is I have the overlay part right, so I use the eraser. So I eraser like and create the texture out of it. So and I think I pick up it when I because like I'm a huge fan of Henry Moore as well. So I I I cannot do sculpture, but I love his sculpture and how he kind of how the process of doing a sculpture is they carving it is three even more time consuming than mine. So I pick up. How he created, and I really like the kind of erase the part. It take time, but it kind of keep the only like the essential and the essence of kind of illustration I create. So it's kind of how I interpret it with it.、Mm -hmm. And do you have a preferred brush or stamp?、Um... Oh yeah, I I think I'm really I'm really fundamental. Like I, my is. I think I downloaded from Photoshop. They have some free brushes online,、mm -hmm. and I just downloaded. I think the most I use is the eraser. So it's kind of how I create this brush, like this stem、mm -hmm. beforehand, and everything. Yeah, I do have like some of the, but most of it I just stick with the basic. Like I just play with it because like that's how I kind of because often. I do try to play with the brushes and buy some brushes online, but often I just go too crazy, and I was like, "Oh, it's too much brushes to choose." I'm just like, "I don't know which one to use." Like sometimes you take like thirty minutes or an hour to design their brushes. Like I was like, "No, that's not for me. It's a bit too like too much time spending on it." So like I just often just play with like the basic. Like I I love the pencil. I also mentioned in previous like I love the pencil kind of texture and everything, so that's what I use the kind of the hand. That's really like I can see the connection from your sketches and your sketchbook to the final artwork because you really have those elements which are coming from the analog world and you bring them into the digital as well. Because I feel like.、Uh, When I was drawing, it's also kind of the concept is I cannot just think, sit there, and the ideas will pop out. I need to like get my hands on and kind of drawing around. So, so like I feel like the drawing part, the physical drawing part, is really important to me as well.、Mm -hmm. So this is how like the jacket would be look like, and often I just like. Sometimes it happens like when you're drawing it, you like it a lot. But often, look after hand is like you look back and zoom back, and it's like it maybe not that good. Like you just play with the kind of different, like kind of factor or like different function with within the Photoshop. And find the like the best suited.、Um, I just kind of organize the files a bit. <laughs> <laughs> It's really impressive that you name your layers. Really, <laughs> I try to like. Otherwise, I cannot find it. Like,、yeah. I mean, in real life, I often is a messy person, but like in my Photoshop, I, I try my best to. <laughs> <laughs> I try to keep it as organized as it can be. And I was listening to some podcasts, like some like really famous illustrator. They they mentioned they have someone to they hire someone to like help them to organize the files because they have like for their illustration they have like thousands of layers. Oh、so、wow! They they need someone to actually help it. I was like, whoa, they might <laughs> I might be like I would love that job. Like it's kind of, I love great <laughs> illustration, but it's like when I was layering it, like. Naming it, I was like, "Oh, this is really satisfying as well." <laughs> yeah, that's true. Also, it's very nice to、um, keep everything well organized and、yeah. create your own nice structure to 
you never know because one day yeah, you might want to animate it or send it to a client or yeah. I don't know, bring it to augmented reality. So it's very helpful to yeah, organize it's, yourself. <laughs> it's really it's extremely important because like if you can see from my rough sketches, I always have this kind of round. I, I have no idea why I like it. I just really like the geometric shape. How sorry, how I like compose the character in some way. So often my friends would like it's super easy to animate. And also like mm -hmm. I've done the frame by frame before. So like I think people can do it like easier in After Effect. So like I think it's really helpful if I need to kind of animate or do like motion in the future. So, That's true. So I, I think it's really helpful. I would love to see your work um, in, in motion. motion. Yeah. Yeah, I would love to, but like, I would love to. And I often, like the one I kind of showcased earlier, like the one never been published, it's like I use the kind of handcraft, like it's each layer. So like, it's a bit different from like the after effect create one. So it's mm -hmm. more like you can see the humanity, like the human touch in it. So this, I'm going to create the trousers of this one. Do you have some tips for um, people who might want to start a career in editorial illustration? Oh, uh, I think uh, then... Are there any any things you want to share or are there some tips yeah about, was... because editorial can be really oh, quite yeah. um yeah it's very fast paced yeah I think... so do you have some tips how to how to get started or how to create a nice concept within a very short time or how do you do it like as I show, showcase like the set sketchbook, it's like I didn't just got that one sketchbook. I have like several crazy amount of like sometimes often the sketches doesn't make sense to me, but like we just I just constantly sketch around. So like it's a bit and now it's become like my visual dictionary. But often I create I sketch the kind of posture and the gesture and the movement and Often I got like a commission, I would start thinking of the concept and like the behind story of narrative of it. I found that one really important is the narrative because mm -hmm. that's what make each illustrator different because we have different mind and different brands. So we have different understanding of certain thing. And that's how I created, we create a different kind of illustration even within the same topic. I found it's really important. So the narrative and also this just sketch it around like i do have like oh sorry all good <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be crazy uh oh because i i was like before i, I prepare like a ipad to kind of become like a second second screen so i can use the, my pencil to just play with it around mm -hmm. so like the sketchbook part is really important to me it's like because as i mentioned earlier it's like a dictionary so i go back to it and pick up certain kind of posture and movement and like the narrative within it so i put it like and i do it as a black like puzzle to kind of compose everything assembled it and put it back to like the to fit with like the kind of the concept and the narrative behind it for the commission wise mm -hmm. And often we, I, it's it's a bit weird to say so, but like, I think lots of illustrator and even artists or designer we love kind of observing people. People is like a really interesting part. <laughs> We're just kind of observing, yeah. sitting at a cafe, and totally agree. <laughs> doing, I I think there's a thing called like bird watching or something. I, I'm probably definitely like the people watcher or something like. It's just what people love watching people. Not in a weird way, but like just how because I feel like to me it's like I can only draw 
what imagine or draw what I seen before. So like,、mm-hmm. I found people really interesting. It's like they always wear something super inspire inspiring. They were like draw some color I never seen. I was like, whoa! I love this how they kind of play with the color, and I was like, oh, this is also I can take it as an inspiration to putting in my future kind of illustration and see how it goes. And especially when I was in St. Martin's, like I mean, we are one of the craziest university in the school, like the college in the school. So like people would draw really kind of we do we wear different kind of. We do have like a fashion design, so they they wear their own clothes. Really, really eye catching. Like if you、yeah. love people watching, you can if you ever visit London, definitely go to the like the fountain in front of CSN and sit there. It will make your days and like. That's a nice source of inspiration, then. <laughs> yeah, definitely. If you ever like got a chance to visit London, that's a definitely like recommendation for me too.、Mm-hmm. But a lot of、um, artists get some inspiration out of、um, fashion and、yeah. also magazines or yeah runway shows or shootings.、Definitely. Oh yeah, and also、or、one、shootings. of like the inspiration I've I catch up from besides people watching is the kind of photo book, like or like Vogue. I'm not a fashion guy, but like I watch. How the photographer or how the director direct their posture and gesture,、mm-hmm. and also some I pick up some like vintage kind of poster. Often they use like character as、uh, elements or like the fundamental to build up around the information. So I I also pick up bits quite often from the, those kind of reference. So now you're using the same、uh, stamp as before for the jacket. You、oh, also the, use the, it for the trousers. It's I often I create a different one because、mm-hmm. uh, when I was kind of doing the stamp, I also think about how the direction, like the trousers and the jacket, will interact. So if I create, if how it depends on how I want to create it. So often, like it will become a certain angle. So、mm-hmm. for like the clothes one, it have a similar one, but it kind of a bit different. So it create it also help me help the audience or help me to kind of differentiate from jacket from the trousers as well.、Mm-hmm. And you can see from the I will illustrate later is like the shirt, it's like the t shirt. The it's kind of vertical, so it's kind of different from the other angle as well. So it's often would be a different stems to create as well. Okay. But if I want to create like a really kind of create a wave, I would use the same stem, but maybe a different size, so it still can kind of stand out from the each other. It won't merge to like a flat kind. Oh, of... nice.、Mm-hmm. So. I love that they are overlapping a bit. Yeah, this creates a nice,、um, unique, unique texture as well. Yeah, super cool. I really like. It's a bit like, as I said, it's like a rice or and bit like handcraft. It's really like those. Because personally, I really love etching as well. Like how you create the etching and like the texture. Often you got like a really shining board, but when you was printing the etching, often there's some unexpected texture beneath it. So I, that's、mm-hmm. how I really like. It's probably like subconsciously I was inspired by it.、Yeah. So often, like this one.、Hmm. So 
sure. I'm not like I didn't use any fancy, fancy way to create illustration. I was that's like really completely fine. Analog. That's your way. Oh, uh, you do it, and that's all we are here for. <laughs> Uh, it looks very nice. The close-up is super nice. Thank you so much. Now you can really see the, the structure and the textures, yeah. Also the overlapping, it's super cool. But anyways, I'm a big fan of your work. Thank <laughs> you so much. I really like your work as well. Like, oh, thank I, you. <laughs> I, would, I would love to draw like get better to draw like the object and everything but like i'm more like a i'm a bit obsessed with like character and like movement and everything like the posture yeah that's super cool i find this very hard so <laughs> i found drawing object really hard often i was like how how i capture the perspective i want like i was like i'm still trying to learn how to do it so. I, yeah, I think kind of... you really have to practice it a lot if you want to find it like get really good of... at it yeah but there are some people which are really like doing crazy characters within no time and i'm always so fascinated <laughs> it's it's like it's it's a go a bit crazy at the end like the character often like I, I even admire like people drawing a lot of character in there because often I, I cannot draw that much. Like if I need to like do all the kind of the texture for each character, it take it probably take a month <laughs> to do it. Yeah. <laughs> do you have um or let's say it like this, what's your dream project? Well, yeah, they would be like. <laughs> I know a, it's a hard a really question, nice question, but but like, yeah, that's a nice one. Like, I always you set yourself a goal, or is there something? Because some people tend to at the beginning of the year, um, set set themselves some goals, like yeah, they want to achieve, I don't know, getting more editorial work or do some animation or uh, more portfolio work. So is there anything that you are dreaming of or that you want to achieve? I'm, I'm super grateful last year because one of the goals I set up for myself is when I was starting editorial, I mean, like for all the illustrators started out editorial, like people would know like New York Times, New Yorkers or like Guardians or like different country or different the big name. And when I was set myself, I was like, I would love to work for New York Times for once or like for like constant work or something. <laughs> and then you did. <laughs> and like there's unexpected like I was like when I first saw the email, I was like, is this some fraud? Because like I mean like people got lots of like scamming email every day. So I was like, is that real? <laughs> right? I was like, oh, it might be real. <laughs> like and the art director was like, I reach out. The funny part is like I reach out to the art director at the beginning of January, beginning of February, like 2022. I think I got a commission almost at the end of the year, like August or something. So like, it's also one important thing is like, just keep kind of have faith in yourself because like mm -hmm. often you send out all the code email and everything, like no one will reply to you. Like they, they are too busy. I totally understand it. So like, just be patient and like they they definitely will see your like works and like they probably will bookmark it and share with some friends and something and but they might have, don't have time to reply for you to yeah. you so just be but patient you never and, know. yeah you never like expected everything or something like something will happen like unexpectedly like like my the project i mentioned previously uh, the qubits one because I, I wear their like spectacle before I decided to, to be an illustrator. So when I was first reached out to the, to the art director, I didn't know she is a creative for Qubits. I was reached out for her side hustle. She was doing some magazine, art director, some magazine on the, on the site. So I was like, oh, 
And she mentioned like she's a kind of a she's not kind of, she's a creative for the qubits, and she might have some project in the future, and that's how the project come out. So you never know. It's like it's like an adventure and、mm -hmm. nervous and like some ups and down, but super excited. So as I was illustrated, I I think I, I did some stupid thing. I I just kind of deleted my. One of my layers as well, so I need to redo the other part. We have about ten minutes to go,、oh, so、yeah. if you want to show、oh, anything yeah, specific,、um, otherwise just go ahead and do your thing. <laughs> we'll、yeah. talk a bit. <laughs> in case, in case, like I don't think I've I'm be able to speed up and just do the animate illustration. So it's kind of. This with how at the end will be like.、Mm -hmm. So it's like you do a handstand, and this is a stool of sixty. So it's a、wow. happy birthday to them. <laughs> Looks very、crazy. nice. I'm super impressed. Thank you. Now、so、there、like... you can see the thing with the stamps. Yeah, it's very nice. And for like, I think for the stool, I I didn't use the stamp thing. Like I kind of still just do like the erase. How I erase、mm -hmm. the overlay thing and keep what I really kind of keen and really want to leave it over, and I found like the texture is really kind of one of the signature for my illustration in some way. Yeah, I completely agree. <laughs> yeah, but and the hair like, looks amazing. The hair looks amazing. How did you do it?、Uh, it's also like the brushes. <laughs> I think you can do it as like the like the color pencil texture,、mm -hmm. kind of, like the pencil. I would say, often I just start with like the eraser. I would say like this one saved my life. I think you can download <laughs> it on Photoshop. So, yeah. Yeah, it's one of Kyle's. Like the, um, I think there's like a Kyle's brushes.、Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really helpful to me. So that's the reason why I call regular. I I have a file for regular. <laughs> Yes, this is the illustration I create for this this session. I hope everyone enjoy it. Yeah, of course. But you still have eight minutes minutes to go. So if you want to show something, like I don't know how you created the hair, for example, or、um, go back to your sketch and. I, I, I mean, I don't want to rush you, but.、Oh, yeah. um... I think,、um... I mean, if anyone have any question, I can just just kind of message me on Instagram. Like,、uh, oh, I would like. Nice. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like the color palette, so you can easily to notice like the color palette, and also one of the kind of the I want to mention is like I besides like the work you can see on my main kind of portfolio. You can also click on the sketchbook. So I, I went a bit crazy and a bit mad in this part. It's like it doesn't look like my work. It might look like my work, but it also I play with it. I think it's also important is I never see my works as in a certain style. So it's always it's like a constant journey and development and like experiment. So this is look really different from how I illustrate for commission. But I really I found it's really important because how I found down the stamp is also from this experiment. I just play with it, and I found out it's e it's a more efficient way to create the texture、mm -hmm. and everything. Yeah. So. And there you can see um the mockup of you did、oh, some、yeah. beer cans. I did some mockup of beer cans. cans. I found like the mockup is quite interesting because. People will found this more. This is like a self-initiated project I did to kind of do a kind of bit like a label packaging design.、Mm -hmm. So you can see like that. I still apply for the texture. But... Super cool. <laughs> Thank you. And also, I I kind of design the type logo type and like this is how I start from a project. I sketch around. And how I people like my character dance around, and then add the movement, the posture, 
And I found like the one I wanted to mention is the mock-up. The mock-up is really kind of the, the nicest way, a nice way to kind of demonstrate the works in real life. So yeah. And sometimes the clients or the people which hire you yeah. really need to see the work out there somewhere, even if it's just a mock-up, but just for their own imagination. I think that's so important. Yeah, we always joke around like they might need to see in real life in order to believe that your work will work, your work will work in like either commission or like packaging or some like advertising or something. Mm -hmm. So I found mock-up and kind of doing your own work on the side hustle, like self-initiate project is really helpful. Because often like, I mean like the chairs is my self-initiate project, like a series I'm still ongoing. But when I was got this, like this commission, I was like, oh, this would be a perfect match to kind of demonstrate the narrative and create it. So often it really help like in you never know like it kind of just help you in the future commission or something and i completely agree yeah like one of the my if you mentioned like dream project for me it would be because like i think the london marathon just passed like not passed like in last month or a few months ago there's a london marathon so i was like i saw the new balance campaign all over the place uh, and but it's like photography one it's really nice photography it's like a people like different race different color of people jog and like how they jog and in a different way like the process of jog it's a bit like the mole bridge like the really old like the photographer like the how he captured the works so like the motion of it each step of it and that would be my dream project i was thinking how can i kind of illustrate it and illustrate the character in my way and become a campaign so that's that's also like the self project i was doing on at the moment like i was i was play with it yeah super cool i think it's always nice to have also some kind of something you want to work on in the future yeah, like definitely. to keep your artistic pro process going and yeah. Uh, yeah that that's like the it's weird to say but like often i really enjoy doing self-initiate project it's like even i feel like that's where like the passion is like the, it really even though like when i was doing commission i was like oh i love drawing this part i love working for different clients and play with the art direction and how it goes and see how it goes but like, when it's like the self-initiate one it's like you love that certain thing so much so it's like you just put all your works in it. It's like this is also a self-initiate project. It's like I love this kind of shoes so much, and we just kind of <laughs> go crazy and do. And also, you can see like the texture of it. It's like you I use also it. do it in Photoshop. Yeah, then? I I use it like the stamp thing and just mm -hmm. kind of create a stamp. I observe the shoes, how the shoes reflect under the sunlight and everything, and just kind of the pattern and play with it so, this is... we are almost close to the end but there oh. is some <laughs> love from the chat i want oh. to oh, uh, read to you because everyone loves your work um Angus you said so great line work and sketches friedrich uh, says so nice um everyone's loving your work and um you should definitely go for some animation because oh, thank you. people I'll might definitely. want to see this. <laughs> yeah, I'll definitely like spend some time and animate it. Yeah, I think that's maybe something for a future self-initiated project. Yeah, definitely. And yeah, everyone loves also the font choices you oh, made. Oh, this one. <laughs> for the and I think also for the, oh, the shoe project. The shoes. Oh, the shoes project. It's their own, like, I just kind of illustrate it in my way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, And also, I, I think the thing I pick up is in somehow it's match. So, like, you can see, like, this type is really, really similar to how I pick up in my kind of presentation. Yeah. And it also fits the concept of the... Like the awkward? The analog things yeah. as well. 
It's very nice. So this is like the one. <laughs> so oh. thank you so so thank much. You. It thank was you so much. So exciting to uh, see everything about your workflow from sketch to how you work in Photoshop, um, how you do all your magic within the stamps. And <laughs> yeah, I think it, it really looks like a lot of work, but um, you really showed how to do it in an easy way yeah. using Photoshop. And yeah, is there anything else you want to include as a last sentence from your side? I think I'm just super grateful. Like, I'm just super excited to have like life on Adobe Live. So it's like, thank you guys for having me. And like, hopefully, I'm doing the future again or something. And we'll see how it goes. Thank you so much for so much. Um, taking time and being here. And thanks to the chat for all your questions, for all the love. Um, and yeah, everyone was loving your demo. And Tune in tomorrow because Tim will show you what's new in Photoshop at 11 uh, a.m. UK time. And if you want to chat along, draw along or give some feedback, um, we can have a chat on Discord. And yeah, thanks so much for your time. Thank have you. a wonderful day and bye bye. Bye. Have a good day, everyone. <laughs>